Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we are gonna look at Kuroro Beasts. We're gonna look at their play to other campaign. I'm gonna explain a little bit how to participate, how to be eligible to earn Kuro tokens. We're gonna take a look at their Kuropedia, which essentially is a Pokedex for their game. And we're gonna take a look at two of their games, uh, which is Kuroro Brawl and Kuroro Wild. So Kuroro Beast is a gaming ecosystem which is being built on the magic uh, or treasure DAO ecosystem. They utilize the magic token, but Kuro Beast will also release their own token called Kuro. So they recently started a play to hydro campaign. You can watch the trailer here in the street. I'm going to link it in the description. And um, they have released one of their games so far, uh, which is Kuroro Brawl. They also have another game coming up, uh, which is called Kuroro Wild, which is very similar to the Pokemon game. Um, just an RPG where you can collect monsters, fight monsters, and then also fight other other users. So you can participate completely for free, but if you own some NFTs, you will be able to earn some additional rewards. So as you can see here in this tweet, we have 7% of the total supply of Kuro allocated to the airdrop. So if you go to the website and then click here on the airdrop button, you will be prompted to connect your wallet, to log in with your Discord account, join the server, follow them on Twitter. And essentially these are all tasks which will generate XP points for you. And based on these XP points, you will be placed in the leaderboard. And I believe anyone who is placed in the leaderboard will be eligible for at least a small amount of a token airdrop. Here you have the Discord page, uh, the Discord badge, the Twitter badge. You have some other beast collecting badges which are related to the NFTs, I believe. Uh, so you actually need to purchase some NFTs to gain these XP points. These are all badges that you can earn without investing any money. So we're gonna take a look on how to actually win games in Beast Ball and how to level up. They do have some daily quests, so it's definitely worth checking at least once per day what the daily quest is. For example, here I would need to, I believe I would need to retweet one of the tweets. I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, make sure to do that, to check in regularly, do these quests, and you can actually earn quite a significant amount of XP points. And before you create an account, make sure to use a referral code. I'm going to be linking my referral code down below this video in the description. If you use a referral code, you are going to get a limited edition Beast NFT. So make sure to use some referral code. You don't need to use mine, but make sure to use one. Um, so let's take a look at the Kuro Beasts. Um, I suppose those are the starting characters. So Argos would be one. Then we have Mermine over here and we have Avalos over here. I would say Avalos and Argos look very similar. I would prefer a little bit more difference. So those evolutions do not change their name, which is interesting. This is some type of water uh, monkey. Um, I'm not sure how this makes any sense from a lore perspective. So let's give it a shot. I did play one game just before, just to test out the mechanics. I obviously got completely crushed. On a weekly basis you will have to, if you want to play completely for free, you will have to play with another team. Alright, once you find a match you have about 50-60 seconds to build your team. Um, we can see our opponent's team over here. He is also using the starter deck, or rather the team of the week I guess. I have no idea what I should choose, but from experience, from Pokemon experience, I know that I know that dragons are usually the strongest. So let's go with him, and let's go with Shoko. He looks kind of cool. And then, um, in terms of reserves, we're gonna go with Armonite. I like him. I'm not such a plant fan, so I'm gonna go with Corvax instead, and then also gonna go with. Tark tight. All right, let's brawl. So as you can see, this is not a traditional brawl game. This is more like a turn-based RPG game, very similar to Pokemon. So we have here 13 seconds left, so we should probably make a move. I'm just gonna go with Acid Flux, 
and apparently we do double damage on this guy so let's let's do this and then also select something on with the other pokemon monster of course not pokemon so are we gonna win this oh my god my dragon is almost dead are we gonna kill this guy nope i have no idea why he just got no damage over here you can see my MMR. As I said, I played one game before, I uh, got crushed. You actually start with 1000 MMR. This guy has definitely won some games already, because he has 1084 MMR. So our dragon, he got cooked. <laughs> it's not good. It's not looking good. And our other guy also got cooked. So now we actually have to pick somebody from our reserves. All right, Dark Tide, what uh, what can you do? Crashing waves, charging waves. Um, um, let's go with Skyfall and maybe take out another monster. Either way, we're gonna lose this game. We're gonna go down a few more MMR. So I would love to see a leaderboard of the worst ranked players. I'm sure I'm somewhere there. So this is our second defeat. We do actually get XP points for every game, no matter if we win or lose. So this is great for players like me who are just awful and I also want to check out the other game Kuro Wild. there are obviously no badges yet but there will be in the future so I think it's definitely worth checking out the demo and just getting a first impression of the game so these graphics look pretty similar to some old uh, Pokemon games it's a pixelated art style you may like it you may not like it I know that there are people who really enjoy this art style for me it's it's a little bit out of date but uh, I can see the appeal for sure. Okay, so there was some monster over there. Um, let's see if we can actually uh, fight with the monster. I don't believe we have any beast at the moment, so I'm not sure how this would work. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Hold your fire axe, just get out of there with the object and return to the extraction point immediately. Oh wow, we actually do need to run from him. <laughs> That's... that's fun. What happens if we... What the hell? I, I started running immediately. Okay, let's restart, I guess. Okay, we finally won and managed to escape from this guy. Um, so let's see what comes next. Oh, that was the whole demo. Alright, 